Now, millions of gamers, um, since we launched the Xbox 360 worldwide last year, have experienced what true integration means with Xbox Live on the Xbox 360 platform. From the moment I turn on the console, whether it's games or entertainment, I'm instantly connected into the Xbox Live network. Now here what you're going to see is I'm starting up a game of Shadowrun, and my gamer tag, Avenger, is going to instantly log into the Xbox Live service. This is something you know and love today. Now, once I'm logged into the service, connecting to my friends and to the community is really simple. One press of the button, and I get instant access to the Xbox 360 guide. And here you'll see the guide that you're familiar with today and your friends list. Now, when I bring up the friends list, I want you to notice a subtle but powerful difference. Now what I'm seeing is no matter what the platform, whether it's Windows Vista, whether it's mobile, I have instant access to seeing what my friends are up to. Um, and they could be working, they could be playing, they could be listening to music, they can be watching movies. So Bill, what's really cool about this now is, is that I can connect with my friends. In this case, you'll see Major Nelson, who's actually working on Windows Vista. What's that all about? It's E3. So why don't I invite him to play a game? So I'm going to send Major Nelson an invitation, and it's just as simple as it is today. Right? I hit the button, I send the cross-platform game invite, one click of the button. So he's not on his Xbox. He's actually over on the Windows PC. Exactly. And uh, what what will that look like? Well, so once we extend this community to the hundreds of millions of gamers on, the, on Windows Vista, let's take a look at Major Nelson's desktop. So, of course, as we saw, he's working. Can you believe that? What is that? So uh, now what you'll see on the right side of the Windows Vista desktop is, uh, in, the, in the Windows Vista sidebar, is his integrated friends list, just like you were talking about earlier, right? One friends list, one identity. Again, multiple platforms completely integrated. Now, right below that integrated friends list, you'll actually see Major Nelson's gamer card. And an important point here, one gamer tag, no matter what the platform is. And when I'm on Windows Vista, I can be working on my reputation. Um, I could be uh, boosting up my gamer score. Now, remember the game invite that I sent just a second ago, Bill. What you're going to notice when it pops up is you'll see my gamer card that's a part of that invitation. And here it is, Avenger, popping up. Again, my reputation. You'll see I want to play Shadowrun. One click and we could be in the game. Or, in this case, Major Nelson can actually do a head-to-head -head comparison. And here you see the guide on Windows Vista. And what you'll notice in the guide is that you can actually do a head-to-head -head achievement comparison, one achievements list across Shadowrun, no matter whether I'm unlocking those achievements on Windows or whether I'm unlocking them on Xbox 360. And of course, as I said, getting in the game, Bill, is super simple. One click of the mouse button, and I'm instantly in. No NAT traversals, no IP addresses, no port forwarding, none of that kind of stuff. And as a gamer, Bill, what's really cool about this is, is that I get to use the controls I feel most comfortable with. If I like the keyboard and mouse on Windows, hey, great. If I like the controller, awesome. And in this experience, of course, I'll be able to real-time voice chat while we're playing cross-platform. Well, I'm envious. <laughs> I'm envious of that five-star reputation you've got there. Uh, well, you're going to have to get online a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, well, now we've got it on Windows. That'll help me, me and uh, hundreds of millions of others. Uh, but what about people who, who mostly are just with their cell phone? Give us a sense of what that's going to be like. Well, Bill, you, all of us have cell phones, right? Billions out there. Um, here's a new one. Um, this is the Motorola Q phone, some of you might be familiar with, um, with Windows Mobile. And let me show you the Windows Mobile experience um, with this Live Anywhere vision. Now, all of you are familiar with the Xbox Live Marketplace where you can download and try games and entertainment. Let's look at what that looks like on the cell phone. Here you see a custom-made, tailor-made marketplace where I can browse casual content, buy the content once, play it anywhere. Here I'm playing Zuma. Uh, maybe I picked up the game from when I played it on Xbox 360. I see you smile. It's one of your favorites. Um, and of course, um, it's available to me anytime, anywhere. Now, hey, gamers don't live by games alone, right? I mean, we're about entertainment, too. And uh, maybe what I want to do is check out some new entertainment. So you see Madonna, you see The Fray. Of course, I can check out those videos on my cell phone, or I can kick off a, a high-definition download that's available on Windows Vista or available on Xbox 360 and get an experience that looks much like what you're seeing here. It's pretty cool. So again, one marketplace, no matter what the platform is, um, instant connection to my games and entertainment. And of course, the gamer card, just like what you saw on Windows Vista, just like you saw on Xbox 360. Here's Avenger. I could be working on my achievements list. I could connect with other gamers on the service, all from my mobile phone.
So you've given us a sense for the user, how it feels like as you move between the different devices. Also give us a sense, now that we're opening this up for developers and they can think about their games in a new way, what kinds of things are we thinking that they'll be able to pull together? This is a great point, and I think a question that's really left best to the game creators themselves. So what we did is we challenged the Forza Motorsport team to come up with you know, a vision of how would they take this new canvas and, and, and paint on it. So to kick that off, again, one friends list, my friends list like you saw on Xbox 360. There's Major Nelson again. He sent me a message. Now, it could be a text message or voice message, right? It could be. But in this case, actually what's inside that message is a car. Now, this is for us to go race later tonight. Um, I can tweak out some of the performance. Let me open that up in the Morza Motorsport, Forza Motorsport <laughs> garage. And I'm going to tweak out a couple of the uh, parameters here. And I'm going to save it off to the Xbox Live service. So, hey, I can, now I can go race that thing. Or let me tweak it out a little bit more. Here what you're seeing is the paint shop. And um, I can share skins with people that are on the community. Right? Here's a skin at the top. And uh, then there's a second one here as well. I'll try that out on my car. Maybe I like it. Maybe I don't. Or what I could do is actually bring up the custom editor here, open up the, uh, the paint shop and the decal editor, and apply that directly to my car. And of course, it's an Xbox 360 car. So let's, uh, let's put that on there, save it off to the service. And now, hey, we're, we're off and racing. So here what you're seeing is a quick mock-up that the team put together, racing on Xbox 360, editing on Windows Vista, and tweaking out the car on the mobile phone. Now, this is just the beginning. I'm just super excited about this, right? I could be trading stuff on my cell phone. Um, I could be doing command and control stuff from Windows Vista. Now, what a lot of you might be wondering is, how close is this really? Well, hey, come join us across the street. Check it out. The future's a little closer than you might think. Thanks, Scott. That looks really good. Thanks a lot.